Hi friends, welcome to my channel. As you see by the title of this video, I'm doing a review of the Korean skincare that I ordered from YesStyle. If you would like to skip the intro, uh, in the description box down below, I'm gonna write the timestamps of each product. So feel free to jump to that product right away. Otherwise, feel free to be here and listen to my long intro because I think there are some important things that I would like to mention before I start uh, the reviews. So I ran out of my skincare and some of my makeup, everything like all at once, I ran out of all my products. And I decided to order the Korean skincare because I know that it's good and I know it's like one of the best uh, skincare in the world. And I know that usually my skin likes it a lot. So I wanted to order something that is, you know, actually popular in Korea and not just popular here in the Western countries. If you're new here, uh, uh, my name is Leila and I live in Sweden. So I went to the global website of Olive Young and I decided to go through obviously like almost the whole website in order to find the products that I think would fit me and uh, that I would like to try. So I found the products, however, I didn't order them from Olive Young. And the reason is the customs. If I want to order something from Olive Young, I need to pay for the shipment and I need to pay for the customs because then I would get these products from outside of European Union. So I found another website. It seemed like it was a legit site. And what I liked mostly about YesStyle is that I can order stuff from there and I don't need to pay customs. You might ask why I don't buy the Korean skincare from Sweden because we have the Korean skincare and now it's getting more and more popular and it's kind of like hype right now. The reason is because one, some of the products they don't exist here in Sweden, we don't have them and some of the products I don't think that we have them like in the European Union. Second, if we have the products they are sold out and third because if I order it from YesStyle, it is two, three, sometimes four times cheaper for me to buy from YesStyle than to order it from a Swedish website or from any European website. The only drawback I would say is that you need to wait for two, three, sometimes one month to get the products. And for me personally, it was okay. I was able to wait. All the products that I'm going to mention in this video, I'm going to link in the description down below if you want to check out these products and read about them and probably order. So let's start the review of the products. Uh, spoiler alert, I liked most of them. And spoiler alert number two, you're gonna hear the words hydrating, moisturizing, soothing, calming, soft many times in this video because all the products that I have used, they are exactly this. Okay, the first product is going to be this cleansing oil from the brand Anua. It's called Heartleaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. Uh, when I read the reviews about this oil, I was like, oh my god, this is so good. It's like it's viral on social media, it's viral among the influencers, it's popular in South Korea. And of course, I thought, okay, let me try this. As the brand describes it, uh, this oil is non-comedogenic, which means that it's okay and it's good for acne-prone skin, which I have. For the, for the information, I have combination oily skin with dry cheeks in the winter season here and T-zone. So yeah, for me, it's very important to have the products that don't make me break out because I do not want to have any acne. What can I say about this oil after using it for a couple of weeks? I can definitely feel that my skin has become more clear, lighter and glowier. 
Of course, this cleansing oil is not the only reason for these characteristics of my skin, but it definitely one one of the products that contributes to it. This oil is very light and it's super soft. I have tried a couple of other cleansing oils throughout the years and some of these oils, they were kind of hard in the texture. I don't know if you understand what I actually mean, but when you try this oil, it's kind of, you know, it's so light and it's so soft. So this cleansing oil is, you know, marketed as a cleansing oil that removes blackheads. Personally, I cannot express my opinion anything about the blackheads part because I don't feel like I have blackheads or if I have they are not visible so in that part I cannot comment because it wasn't my biggest reason why I got this however when you read the reviews I can definitely see people writing that oh my god this this cleansing oil removed my blackheads and I could, you know, see them on the on my fingers. The other part that I would like to comment on this oil is that it says uh, that you can remove the makeup with it. So you don't need to have like eye makeup remover or something. So for the makeup on the face, yes, it removes it completely. Like you don't have anything. However, if we are talking about the eye makeup, so mascara, basically mascara. I didn't personally feel like it removes mascara that good. I needed to use additional makeup remover uh, in order to get rid of the mascara. For me personally, it didn't make any difference. I still use eye makeup remover. Uh, so it didn't bother the, me that much that it doesn't remove mascara that good. But if it's a deal breaker for you, of course, like think about that part. But as I said, for the skin, skin part, it removes everything. This cleanser is multi awards cleanser. It has won many prizes throughout the years. It's marketed as a cleanser that removes fine dust and uh, in general things that are not visible to a human eye. It's written on Olive Young website. This form has been certified by a strict German skin science laboratory so it is safe to use even on sensitive skin. So the cleansing foam has a very light texture. I can say that it definitely removes the impurities. It gives the feeling of hydration and moisture and during the washing process, it feels super soft. However, it doesn't leather that much. So if it's like super important for you, you just need to know that this cleanser cleansing foam it doesn't it doesn't uh, leather the next product in the cleansing category is this silicone pad and what it does is that it exfoliates the skin from impurities uh, I mean you don't have to have it but if you have this foam or any foam that you have at home it doesn't matter with this one you can clean out the impurities from your face in a really efficient way. So the way you use it, you apply the foam and then with circular motions, very, very gently, you don't have to press it really hard against your skin because you don't want to damage the skin, okay? So very gently clean it out with just circular motions. I like the fact that there is this little angle so it makes it easier to clean out this the nose to be honest i didn't expect that i would like it i ordered it because it was super cheap it costed like in swedish krona 35 swedish krona maybe like two three dollars something like that and i am really really pleased with these products and also the reviews are amazing so people are pleased i'm pleased if you see this thing somewhere, order it, you will not regret it. And I promise that it's gonna make your cleaning process much, much more enjoyable because it also feels like a massage. The last product in the cleansing category is this 
peeling gel. It's written here on the package that it's extra mild and soft deep moisturizing gomas type peeling gel and this peeling gel is from a brand called esfolio i think it's important to exfoliate your skin at least once per week uh, because it helps at least my skin to keep it clean i have a history of acne and i do not want to go back to that time so I'm trying to take care of my skin as much as I can. Uh, this brand is Folio brand. They have seven different types of peeling gels. Uh, I chose the one that is called green tea. Uh, so it's got green tea with collagen, aloe, snail filtrate, honey and avocado in the ingredients. So this peeling, as it sounds, it peels your skin uh, it removes sebum, it removes impurities, it removes blackheads. It's very delicate and very, very, very gentle. So delicate and gentle, these are two words that could describe this gomash type, this gomash peeling gel. What I really like about this product is after using it, I don't feel like my skin is dried out. Sometimes it feels like when you use different kinds of kinds of products, sometimes after peelings, you can feel like, okay, I have peeled out and I have cleaned my face, but I'm super dry. This thing doesn't happen with this product. The skin still feels like it has moisture, it has hydration. If you are not familiar with this kind of peeling gels, gomash type peeling gels, you need to wash your face first with a foam. After that, wipe out the water, wipe away the water. And then when, when the water is like gone from your face, take it and apply it on the face and with circular motions, clean out the skin and I promise it's gonna peel off a lot of stuff from your face. Now I'm done with the cleansing products and let's go to the toner. So when I was doing the research I have seen a lot of people talking about this product. I don't think I have ever used toners based on rice uh, but this one is super good. It has, according to the information on the website, it has 77.78% of a, what is it called? Go, guami, guami rice extract. I don't know what kind of rice, type of rice that is. I'm pretty sure it's really good because it says that that type of rice is rich in amino acids. I really don't have anything negative to, to say about this toner. It's super hydrating as I used this word many times now. It's super hydrating, it's super moisturizing, it feels amazing on the face. Uh, it's recommended to use either with pads and then you like apply it on the pad and then on, on your face. I do not want to waste this product on a, <laughs> on a pad. That's why I put it on my face, on my hands and just tap it into, into my skin. And after that, the feeling of it is amazing. So I definitely recommend this product. Another super viral product that I was so so waiting to try out and was so looking forward is this bean essence from a brand called Mixone. What is interesting about this product is that you can use it in two different ways. Either for hydration purposes, just for hydration, for daily skin hydration after your toner, or you can use it as exfoliator also after a toner. The difference is just how you apply the product. So if you want to get the hydration, your daily hydration, then you need to apply the product on your hand and then tap it, you know, tap it into your skin gently, but tap it. And if you would like to do the exfoliation, then you need to, again, apply the product after the toner and with circular motions, clean out the face. Some people in the reviews are writing that they could feel that the sebum was coming out, the impurity were coming out. 
nothing like this came out from me <laughs> i don't know maybe because i already do i think i do quite good um, cleansing step and maybe that's why i don't feel like any impurities are coming out however i could i can definitely feel that my skin somehow is getting cleaner when i do these circular motions and after that it feels so smooth this is a product that i think that i will keep buying uh, from time to time and have it in my in my daily routine yeah another serum that i got uh, to use after the toner is this serum from a brand called toridan i got this recommendation from my friend who traveled last year in asia and noticed that this was a really big hit there when i did my own research i discovered that this serum won awards like three years in a row and it was rated as one of the best sellers on korean app called hua hai hua hai <laughs> i'm not sure how to pronounce it but if you know um you know so this in korea they have an app where people can go and read the reviews on skincare products and probably other products so people usually what they do they go there they check the reviews and after that buy products i tried to download it and uh, also to use it but everything is in korean so unfortunately I wasn't able to use it yeah what do i say it's really good it's super hydrating moisturizing soothing and all of that jazz if you get this serum you are not gonna regret it because it's so lightweight it's just amazing you when you apply it on your skin it soaks into the skin right away and you don't feel like you have any product but at the same time you feel like you're moisturized this serum it has five different hyaluronic acids with different weights and i think that's why the the texture of the serum it's so amazing it's so lightweight i think i have used many serums but i don't think i have ever used a serum that was so lightweight that it almost feels like a water but at the same time it gives really good results so really love it really recommend it skin 1004 has taken the world by storm with storm and tsunami i think it's on everyone's lips nowadays and it feels like everyone is talking about this brand so of course i thought okay i need to try out this brand and i thought okay let's start from the spf this spf has spf 50 plus with pa plus 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 so four pluses what is so good about this spf is that it has this um it has this kind of pump and it's super easy to apply if you look at it you see it's like So this uh, SPF, it has hyaluronic acid and uh, centella asiatica, ingredients that are supposed to hydrate and soothe your skin as many other products that I got for myself. What I like about this SPF, you see, it's not like you don't see it anymore. It's already absorbed. Um, it's absorbed into my skin. It doesn't have a white cast and uh, it feels really really soft on my skin it almost feels like a hand cream you know when you want to apply a hand cream and you're like mm, i want to have soft hands this is how i feel while i was browsing for sunscreens a beautiful blue package that looks like this caught my attention and it was described as sun packed spf which is basically compact spf and i was like what is this i do not recognize it i know that there are like you know sunscreens that has that have pump i know that there are stick sunscreens which by the way i have i haven't tried yet um 
and now i see this package that is like compact sunscreen i was like oh my god what is this should i order it should i not um also i think this kind of products we don't have in sweden yet and if we have them people do not know about them because otherwise i think the influencers and all other people would talk about this i predict that this kind of compact sunscreens are gonna be a big hit um, in the coming years before i talk about the product itself let me show you the package you open it with with this button it has this mirror okay we have the sponge and we have the product this sponge has this line this holder that makes it easy to apply the product on the face so i don't need to use my thumb to you know hold uh, the sponge and apply the product it makes the application very hygienic i must say so as you see there is this door that closes the product you have a sponge so i don't need to think about oh my god i need to apply this sun packed sunscreen now i need to get the sponge everything is solved for me i have it and of course i also have the mirror let me read some of the description uh, so this product was described as a compact SPF that protects your skin from UV with mineral and chemical filters. It contains peptides and it doesn't leave a white cast. It has a brightening white essence and blue essence. And these essences, they are supposed to prevent hyperpigmentation. Now, about my opinion about this product. I think, as I already mentioned, these kind of products, they are going to be big hits uh, here in Sweden and probably in the European Union in the coming years because it's very easy to apply. It's travel friendly because, you know, if you travel with this you get liquid limitation with this one you don't get it i'm using this on the days when i don't want to use a bb cream or foundation or cc cream or whatever but i still want to look you know presentable and put together i use it on top of this uh, base which i'm gonna talk about in a few moments and on top of that i just apply this sunscreen uh, by doing these motions and putting it on the face now i'm not gonna do it right now because i have the bb cream and i don't want to make my sponge dirty but anyway when you when you do it like this you get the you see the blue part so the blue part is the product that i have got right now let me show you how it looks like on the hand I need to do it like this. I don't know if you can see. Do you remember in the description it was written that it has brightening white and blue essence? So this is the example how it looks like on my hand. And as you see, it instantly got brighter. When I apply it on my face, it instantly also feels like my face is glowing and I feel really, really nice. A few days ago, I was in Istanbul in Turkey and one of the days I decided that I don't want to use any, you know, BB cream or CC cream or anything like that. I just wanted to be super clean and just glowy. So what I did, I used this makeup base and this sun packed uh, sunscreen on on top and my face looked amazing i can show you also one of the pictures that i took a few days ago when when i'm wearing just these two products and literally my face looks glowy now remember if, that i told you that i have a combination oily skin with oily t-zone that sometimes you know gets a little bit oilier and even though I have a oilier T-zone, 
I still feel it's okay to use this sun pack. It just it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel greasy, it feels glowy. And of course, if I want, I can always use a little bit of powder to, you know, to make it look less glowy. Now let's talk about this face cream from the brand Dear Claire's and it's called Rich Moist Soothing Cream and the additional text is, says uh, basic essentials, moisturizing and soothing care, a comforting deep replenishing moisturizer that contains a rich blend of hydrating ingredients. And these ingredients are aloe, centella asiatica and ceramide. Um, it says that it's perfect for oily skin and is suitable for all year round usage. Now, I have a little bit of history with this cream. I have tried this cream for the first time probably like one year ago, one and a half years ago at my mother's place because she has got this cream and I absolutely did not like it. After some time I decided to try out this cream again and this time I absolutely loved and adored this cream. I was wondering why is that because I was like the first time I didn't like it and the second time I liked it and then I thought when I was using it. The first time when I was trying this was summer and if you live in Sweden especially in Stockholm summers in Stockholm can be hot sometimes yes it happens they can be hot and and you know humid so this cream does not work in the humidity and in the hot environment i'm not really sure why it's written that it's for all year round purpose because it's not it's really not the second time when i tried it it was winter and uh, if you again know how the swedish winters are it can be cold, it can be dry, it can be windy, rainy, snowy or everything everywhere all at once. So when I tried it in the winter, my skin absolutely loved it because why? If we look how this cream is called, because it's rich, because it's moist and because it's soothing. This cream is amazing for cold part of the year and for me in Sweden like the winter season starts probably like at the end of October at least in Stockholm at the end of October it continues until April and for the for the reference I'm recording it in the beginning of April I think today is 6th of April and we still have snow on the ground so this cream is suitable for most parts of the year at least in Sweden I really love that this cream comes in a tube and it's so much easier to use because it's a tube, it's hygienic and you can basically control how much of the product you need to use. You see, it's very easy to press it out and uh, let me work it in my, on my hand. It feels so good and really really moisturizing and soft very easy to work with it and to spread out the product and you see there is no like you don't see it i can feel it a little bit uh, but you can see it there is no white cast it feels amazing no cakiness no greasiness definitely good for the winter since this product is so thick and so rich you don't need to use a lot of it so i would expect that this package would last me until next year the next product that i want to talk about is this makeup base from the brand face shop it has spf 30 and pa plus plus now it's getting dark here let me try do we want like this do we want like this? Okay, let me have the light on. It's six o'clock when I'm recording this and uh, it's getting dark. So soon it's gonna be completely dark outside. Okay, this makeup base has two 
two shades. One is mint, which is supposed to neutralize the redness. The other one is lavender that is supposed to neutralize yellowness. To be honest for myself, I don't feel like I have problems with redness or with yellowness. I got this because it was cheap and to be honest, I didn't have any like high expectations. Once again, I ordered it because it was cheap and uh, there were good reviews and I was like, okay, let me try it. And you know what? I'm very happy about this product. This is definitely something that I'm gonna order uh, over and over and over again because I can use this product just to even out my skin tone and do not use anything else. It is so amazing. When you apply it, it looks green, yeah, because it's supposed to neutralize the redness, but yeah. So it looks like this. I'm not sure if you can see that it's green. So this is my white t-shirt and I think you can see that it's green. It's getting dark, I'm really sorry. So, to be honest, this amount of product that I applied, this will be enough for the whole face. So this is a lot. Anyway, this one, it evens out the skin tone. Um, it makes it a little bit brighter and uh, see, it's gone. Like I applied it and very fast it was completely absorbed into my skin. It doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel greasy, it feels moisturizing and hydrating, which I really, really think that it's a good feature, it's good character, because after this step, you are supposed to use a BB cream or high, or CC cream or whatever you are using uh, or whatever product you decide to use. This is my natural color of my skin. This one, I think it's also natural, but it's just more evened out. When I apply a BB cream, this one with a, that I'm gonna talk about soon, it feels amazing. If you look at my, at my face, I have this base and I have the BB cream and it looks like evened out. Of course, here I have the blush, but if you look like at the rest of the face, I think to me it looks very natural. It doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup. Now, after, after the makeup base, let's talk about this BB cream. And this is the BB cream that I have on my face right now. This vegan BB cream promises glow and flawless coverage. It contains the ingredients such as Centella Asiatica, Panthenol and Niacinamide. Uh, the ingredients that are supposed to nourish your skin and uh, protect the skin barrier and also even out the skin tone. I have been trying this BB cream for a few weeks now and what I really like about this BB cream is that it's very lightweight and it's easy to work with it. It almost feels like a cream. Since I'm using this base under uh, the BB cream, I feel like I don't need to use a lot of this product because this one already evens out uh, my skin tone and also this one evens out my skin tone and in the end I don't need to use a lot. I basically, from this package, I'm pretty sure that I have most, most of the products still uh, in the package. What I also really like about it is that it doesn't get cakey, it doesn't feel greasy. I tried it out both in the Swedish weather and also I was recently abroad in Turkey, in Istanbul. It was plus 20 and this BB cream really was good. Uh, also it didn't cake out, it wasn't feeling greasy. I was really, really happy and pleased about this BB cream. Even though this product promises flawless coverage, yes, I think it gives you the coverage, but I think what it mostly gives you is that it evens out your skin tone. And because your skin tone gets evened out, uh, that's why it feels like it's 
it has the coverage but to be honest from my opinion it gives me the vibe of no makeup makeup look or what do you think the last two products that i have got are lip balm products the first one was called uh, mentor tint lip sakura spf 20 pa plus plus it was such a great tinted lip balm but unfortunately i lost it i got it and i had the opportunity to use it for a few days and i was absolutely amazed by that tinted lip balm because it looked so good when you applied it it didn't have any color but after some time it has some color science thing so after some time you get a little bit of tint that looks very natural at least i have tried it and i know if i order something from yes style i will definitely use that tinted lip balm one more time the other lip balm is called Botanic Velvet Lipstick from Forenkos. I have in the color Carpel. It looks like it has a lot of color in the lipstick, but however, when I, when I apply it on my lips, it still looks good. And of course, I don't need to use with the same strength I can adjust so if I want to have just a little bit of color then I can use it just like by tapping. This lipstick it has rose extract and camellia extract so it is very very kind to, to your lips. I don't have anything to add except of that I like it and I really think that it's worth uh, trying it. The only thing, you know, when you order something from websites and you don't have any opportunity to try out the products is it's very hard to choose and to know which which color you should you should choose. Uh, with this one, Forenkos, they have six different colors. So for me, of course, it took it took some time to decide and to choose which color I think will work on me. Thankfully, I was lucky and everything I ordered this time, like this uh, lipstick and this shade of the BB cream, I was lucky and I managed to get the right color, but of course you never know. So this was the end of my Korean skincare haul from YesStyle. I hope that you liked something or that you learned something new and got inspired. Um, I personally I feel like I am in my new era where I'm getting more and more interested in skincare and makeup. I have always been interested in skincare and makeup but right now I feel like I have more and more interest and I want to explore more and try out more products. So I think you can expect more products and more skincare haul and stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions what I should try or like what is trendy, please let me know in the comments down below. I will be super excited to try it out. It doesn't matter from what kind of um, part of part of the world, if it's Korean skincare or, you know, Western skincare like Chanel D or Japanese skincare, I'm open to everything. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.